G'day, hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to draw Minecraft Steve in easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Let's have some fun and draw Minecraft Steve. Now I'm gonna start with some construction lines. So I'm gonna start with his head. This is the corner of his head. They come slightly back like this. And then this is the front of his body. Now his body is about two times the height. One, one and a half to two, and then I'm going to cut a line across here. Now these angles are the same, and this angle here should be the same as this one, and this one here is the same. And this comes straight down. So the reason I'm drawing it in pencil is because it is easy to rub out if I make a mistake. Now, so all these lines that are going this way need to be on the same angle. And all these lines coming this way also need to be on the same angle. So you can sort of see this is his, gonna be his face. This is the side of his face. Now we've got an arm that comes off and that's on a different angle because the arm's coming back. So we're gonna be, it's gonna be a bit tricky. This is the side of his body that I'm gonna draw up here. Pretend he doesn't have an arm yet. So that's how he's head and his Body go on there and let's now put his arm on from this corner we're just going to come this way and then this is going to come up on the similar angle to that this angle here we draw an angle coming down now you're not going to see all that I just drew it to give us some reference now this angle here that I draw it back on these three lines have to come back on that angle and then this one has to be on the same angle as that, which then needs to be slightly more angled in. And then this one comes on the same angle and this one on the same angle as that. It's very important to match those up. Now his arms coming out and he's holding a pickaxe. He's obviously going exploring and building. Now my kids love Minecraft and I'm sure you guys do too. And thanks to, hey, thanks to Gabrielle for your suggestion in drawing Minecraft Steve. So arm coming out, another arm coming out here. And you can see I'm sketching it up. These are on the same angle. Now this one comes down, down, and then this is his hand, the front of his hand, just like that but on the other end. And this part here we've got his shirt sleeve there. Now we've got to draw it on the same angle there, same angle here, and then this angle and this one needs to be the same there. Looking good so far. Now we've got a leg that comes forward, and because it's coming towards us, it's a bit wide, a bit wider, so a bit more than halfway. We come down on an angle like this, down, and this is his foot. Coming straight across, straight across. See that angle there? Same as that. Down. And then we're going to join onto the back of this part here. And notice how it slightly comes wider to narrow as it comes there because this is like closer to us. Cross, down, same angle. Now this leg is going to be shorter because it's going back and it's away from us. So... We can just put pop that in like this and then don't forget to come up and back like that so that legs in behind there now we need to put on the the finishing details now this is really tricky to draw but i'm going to show you a simple way to do it because it's like a step that steps all the way up but i'm going to show you an easier way so we're going to draw a line in the middle for the inner inner parts and then a, another line here. And these are what we call guidelines there. And then we're gonna draw another line over here. Now you might think, whoa, Peter, there's a lot of lines there. Okay, this is why. Step it out, like a zigzag line like this, up to there. And in the side of here, we do this opposite zigzag it. Try and match that if we can. There we go. 
Now we've got to make this 3D, so we're going to put it on this angle. So mine's coming across here. Same width. So bring them out the same length. Each of those comes out. And now because this is a pickaxe, we need to put a diagonal line there, a diagonal line here. Now this comes because that's we're going to match it. So this one's like that. So out, in, out, back in, back out, back in, back out, back in. There we have the handle, and you can see how those lines help us. Now if I draw a straight line there, up to there. Now this comes in, up, in, up. So it's repeating sort of that. And then this comes across, so try and keep them the same. Then we put this part on, put this part out. Now you can see this bottom edge, so try and keep, see these angles, try and keep that the same angle. Comes back into there, like that. Now we've got this same angle here. Comes, so we're doing these angles like that. and then the thickness of the pickaxe. And there we have, oops, what did I do there? I did, oop, that's got to come another, another bit up there. It's another part that's, that part there needs to be rubbed out. Now the head, the face of Steve. Cross, cross, up, up. Across. Now I remember making a Steve hat out, or Steve mask out of cardboard once for my kids to take to school for dress up day. That was pretty fun. Painting green. Or was it a creeper? Might have been a creeper. Okay, notice how I'm mapping the face in. This will be his eyes, nose, mouth. And then mouth like that. So there's the guidelines. Some of them we will rub out later. You'll see which ones. And the hair comes down. Oh, notice how I'm matching these these curves. I mean these angles. Vertical, diagonal, vertical. And there's his hair. There's his face. Now his shirt. Vertical, vertical to match that vertical diagonal vertical let's go ahead and outline that with I'm going to use my trusty Copic 0.5 multi-liner and you can use whatever you've got at home 